Before entering the debate ring tonight, Liberal leader Justin Trudeau went physically toe-to-toe -to -toe in a training session with a local boxing champion. He's one of four party leaders in Montreal, of course, ahead of tonight's French language debate. It's Trudeau's first leaders debate of the campaign. The CBC's Katie Simpson is covering the Liberals this week. Katie? Vashi, Justin Trudeau's main goal tonight is to contrast himself from Conservative leader Andrew Scheer. And to do that, he'll be promoting his plan to fight climate change. Liberal sources say they're confident that Trudeau's approach to the environment is more in line with Quebecers than the Conservative strategy, and he's going to really try to play that up. Trudeau also needs to stop any sort of momentum that appears to be building for the Bloc Québécois. And to do that, he's going to try and make the argument that because the Bloc is not going to form government as a result of this election, it's not worth a vote for that party. He'll try to make the point that because he has an actual chance to form government, voters should stick with him. Yeah. The path to majority flows through Quebec, so Trudeau's team is going to need this strategy to work if they want another mandate. Bashi. Thanks, Katie. The CBC's Katie Simpson is covering the Liberal campaign for us this week. It was a down day for Conservative leader Andrew Scheer. He and his team hunkered down inside his hotel to prepare for tonight. The CBC's Salima Shivji is covering Scheer's campaign this week for us. Salima? Vashi, the Conservative team knows this debate is crucial for leader Andrew Scheer, but also a tough challenge. It's not just the first one featuring his main target, Justin Trudeau. It's also right here in Quebec, where the ground is shifting and unpredictable, and the Tories are fighting with the Bloc Québécois to be seen as the anti-liberal vote to those all-important francophone voters outside of major cities like Montreal. Voters that overwhelmingly watch TVA, so they will be paying attention. Sources say the Tories know Scheer didn't score high after his turn on the popular variety show Tout le monde en parle because he couldn't connect. You know, it's obvious Andrew Scheer's French isn't as good as the others, so he does come in with a handicap. And that's why he's been nowhere today. It's all debate prep all the time. He really wants to make an impression, hoping that the language and the adversarial head-to-head -head format don't trip him up. Bashi. Thanks, Salima. The CBC's Salima Shivji reporting for us on the Conservative campaign this week. NDP leader Jagmeet Singh, meanwhile, made a brief appearance in downtown Montreal earlier today. I'm excited for tonight. Uh, I, I love French. I love the language. And I'm really excited to hold the prime minister to account and really to show Singh Canadians visited a farmer's market with his wife where they picked up snacks for his debate prep team. The CBC's David Thurton is covering that campaign for us. David? Vashi, today was supposed to be all about Jagmeet Singh and his wife taking a leisurely walk today at a local market here in Montreal. Instead, he and his wife ended up having a conversation with an elderly man. And that conversation ended in the NDP leader Singh calling out that man for making comments about that turban. Here's how it all went down. Hello, how, how are, are you? you? Good to see you, sir. You okay? Yes, you yeah. too. Pleasure to meet you. You know what? What's that? You should cut your turban off and you put a you look like a Canadian. Oh, I think Canadians look like all sorts of people. That's the yeah, beauty of Canada. Yeah, but, uh, That's okay. I don't the, agree, in, sir. In Rome, you do as the Romans. Hey, stuff. but this is Canada. You can do like whatever you like. <laughs> all right. <laughs> Thanks. I hope you the incident illustrates perfectly what Singh is up against in this province. How does he convince voters like that? How does he convince many Quebecers who believe in the new law that bans people like him from wearing religious symbols if they work in the public service? Vashi will be looking to see if Singh addresses this issue tonight at the debate. Vashi. Thanks, David. The CBC's David Thurton reporting for us on the NDP campaign this week. Also in tonight's debate, Bloc Québécois leader Yves-François Blanchette. As Eric mentioned, the Bloc has seen a recent uptick in support in Quebec and currently sits in second place in the province. The Green and People's Party of Canada leaders were not invited to participate in tonight's debate. Elizabeth May took her campaign back out to B.C., visiting Vancouver and then Vancouver Island, close to her home riding. And Maxime Bernier also campaigned in his home riding in Beauceville, Quebec, earlier today.